my darlings and welcome to a new vlog. I say good morning, I have lost track of the time zone. I think it's afternoon, morning, evening, who knows. But the most important thing is not the time, it is the location. Just arrived in New York City, which is so exciting. I have not been here in quite a few years. I think the last time I came here was a little shopping trip with Freddie. Yeah, I think that was the last time. And it was when the heavens opened, it poured with rain. We had so many shopping bags, always great memories in New York. But this is a whirlwind work trip. I'm here as a guest of Shiseido and it's just gonna be the most magical 50 hours. It's more than 48, it's not quite three days. Two nights, three busy days, and um, we've got some really fabulous things planned. Just checked into the room and very quickly got changed and popped a bit of makeup on. We had a seven hour flight, I got a few hours sleep, caught up on Succession. I downloaded all of season two onto my iPad on Skygo, which is just the best thing ever. And I watched it while I was having some food and then fell asleep on the plane. So great journey. Let me whiz you around and show you my insane view. Look at that, so iconic. The fact that this window opens actually petrifies me a little bit because we are very high up, 27th floor. We're staying in the Virgin Hotel on Broadway, which is so central. It's a very, you know, everything that you need is right here. Great location, it reminds me a little bit of the um, Standard Hotel opposite King's Cross Station. I've just actually been doing the shower trick, which is when you leave your clothes in a hot steaming shower for a few minutes to drop the creases out, because I have not had time to iron anything, and I've popped on my Cult Gaia dress. It's quite warm and sunny, so we are gonna head out now. I think the plan is to go to the Ned, which I think is in the Nomad Hotel. I'm not sure, I feel like I don't know New York anywhere near like I used to. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head there for a late lunch, get some coffee and then we have got a very exciting evening planned but I'll tell you about that once I have got a little bit of food in my tummy so let's go and explore yay well it feels so good to be back in New York I didn't realize how much I missed it until like an hour ago we just had a lovely lunch at the Chaconis restaurant on Broadway. Now, anyone that's local to New York, can you tell me, was Broadway always pedestrianized or is that something new since COVID? This whole street behind me that I've just walked down is completely pedestrianized. It's really nice, all the restaurants are like spilling out into the road. Um, I picked up a strawberry cha-cha matcha. I feel like there are so many more healthy eateries just dotted around since I last came to New York and my new love of matcha is very well catered for here. There are matcha places on every corner. Um, this is absolutely delicious. We actually have to get ready for our event and leave our hotel in one hour. I was gonna have a power nap, but I thought I would go for a power walk instead. So I'm just gonna do a 15 minute walk around the block, as they say, and then quickly get ready for tonight's event, um, which is gonna be good fun, but for now, it's actually a really gorgeous afternoon. I'm gonna walk down to the Flatiron Building, which, fun fact, I think the first ever Shake Shack was down by the Flatiron Building. And then we'll do a quick get ready with me for tonight's uh, documentary screening and cocktail reception with Nas. completely covered in scaffolding. Oh dear, not quite the spectacle that I remember, but there it is, the infamous flat iron. So I'm gonna make my way back to the hotel and get ready for dinner. So I'm now remembering coming down to this Shake Shack with Freddy when we were last here together. Yes, you see the pontoon lighting in there? That is the first ever Shake Shack. And if my memory serves correctly, there is a dog park here. I can hear barking. I can see puppies, oh my gosh. But the tragic thing is you're not allowed in unless you've got a dog, because that would be weird. But there's a sausage in there. And of course the sausage is being an absolute bully to the bigger doggies. I might just sit here and look at dogs for the next five minutes. 
Okay, my darlings, this is quite a nice little spot in the room to do a little get ready with me, a very quick get ready with me because I have got 15 minutes until we need to go to our fabulous event later. Irene was just showing me photos from her room and I was like, oh, I can't see the Empire State Building from my room. Look at my view. So I'd only looked at this angle, but there it is. You know, when things are just hidden in plain sight. So I feel very silly indeed. But anyway, I've just um, slightly rejigged the furniture in the room to bring a table round in front of the window so that I can look straight down Broadway. I think that's Broadway. Um, yeah, it's all pedestrianized, wild. And get ready for tonight's event. I don't have time to take my makeup off and start again, so I'm just gonna do the old plaster it on top kind of situation. No surprises what foundation I'm going to be using. My Shiseido Revitalescence Skin Glow. We actually have a masterclass all about this foundation on Thursday alongside some meditation workshops and things like that. So really, really looking forward to that. Um, we've got an official shade matching as well. I bought the shade 350 with me. Maybe they will tell me that I need something different. Who knows? I'm so looking forward to my evening plans tonight already because I've got about four layers of makeup on. Um, I've just been looking at workout classes that I can try and squeeze in while we're here because I do like to eat a lot <laughs> when I come to the US. So it's nice to balance that out with some fitness classes. I think Evie said she's, I'm here with Irene, Evie and Jane from the Shiseido team. Um, I've been calling it Shiseido, but Jane says Shiseido. So maybe I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Uh, yeah, and Evie is also very into her reformer Pilates. So hopefully she will find a nice class that we can do maybe tomorrow morning before our brunch, which is at Jack's wife, Frida course because where else do you go for brunch in New York City? This is literally the exact same makeup look as what I shared with you when we were in Catalonia. So I'm using my balmy bronzer, got my same Amazon mirror and I'm just using a very fluffy Real Techniques brush to pick up a little bit of the balmy bronzer. I did spritz my face with uh, the Saint-Tropez Purity Mist last night and I feel like it's given me a little bit of extra colour which is always very much appreciated. Oh what I would do to have a power nap right now but I do not have time. I'm very glad I curled my hair before lunch. The plan is we've got cocktails then we've got the Francois Nas screening of his new beauty documentary which I need to try really hard not to fall asleep in. Um, and then we're going out for dinner. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to dinner. I'm sorry, this is literally the exact same makeup look as uh, Cafalonia because I bought the same makeup bag with me and it's all my favorites. So this is the Clay de Peau Cream Blush. And all these balmy products just work so nicely on top of the Revitalescence Foundation. It's amazing how noisy the traffic and all the street noises are considering we are 27 floors up. Okay, that is a very pretty cheap color. I'm actually gonna use this on my eyelids as well. Oh, that looks very pink on camera. I'm just blending this out with, where is this brush from? Effortless Eyeshadow Blending Brush, Beauty Pie. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes and I'm just putting the pink in my crease. And I'm going to blend it with my favorite little Merit Beauty solo eyeshadow in the corners. This is honestly the most versatile eye product in the whole world. Right, let's do a quick brow update. Shiseido Brow Ink in the shade Taupe. I love that it's a roll-up pencil, you don't need to remember your sharpeners. And finishing them off, of course, with my little TikTok brow gel. This is probably one of my favorite beauty discoveries of the year. I really hope you can hear me over this background noise. I find the noise of US sirens actually like chills me to the core. I find them so scary. Shiseido eyelash curlers, just to give my lashes a little boost. 
and just a touch of my clay de Peau mascara again this is just layering on top of the makeup that i popped on a couple of hours ago so it's not gonna be completely flawless shush please Okay, and now for lips, I'm using the Shiseido Lip Liner in the shade Rosewood. It's a really nice kind of brownie pink colour. I'm actually just going to put a load of my By Terry Balm de Rose on my lips until later because they are pretty dry. Sometimes I think that lip liner and lip balm can just be a really nice look, but I will pop a nice lipstick in my bag and apply it just before we get to the event. But for now marinate in lip liner lip balm rather i wonder if lips absorb lip balm the same way that faces <laughs> absorb moisturizer i hope so because my lips need a drink and now my charlotte tilbury beauty light wand has somewhat exploded in my makeup bag so i'm gonna have to do this very carefully just applying some tiny little dots there we go we have successfully refreshed the makeup and we have got six minutes to spare hallelujah oh okay i've had to shut the window firstly because it is so noisy down at street level and secondly i really need this air conditioning to kick into action so as i mentioned i downloaded so many of my absolute favorite tv shows on my sky go to watch while i'm out here but also when i'm away from charlie even if I was super jet lagged, I really struggle to get to sleep. So having loads of things downloaded. Oh, I've got Forrest Gump downloaded. Yay. Um, on my SkyGo app, as you may remember, I love to watch new films each month on Sky Cinema. They bring out so many incredible films. Maybe they are exclusives to Sky. Maybe they are global phenomenons. There is always something new to watch. And I have downloaded a lot of succession but also a film called a knock at the door that i'm going to settle into tonight not sure if it's the wisest thing to do considering it actually sounds quite scary i believe it is based around a girl who goes and stays in a cabin in the woods with her parents and there's a knock at the door hence the name of the film and there's some kind of hostage scenario, there's some kind of apocalyptical twist in the film, and there's something about being in New York, obviously not in a cabin in the woods, but something about being in New York always reminds me of apocalyptical films. What's the one with Will Smith? Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. You know the one that I mean? Why can I not remember the name of that film? Yes. Oh my gosh, and also the film 2012 with the tsunami. Yeah, there's something very strange about me that I just love end of the world kind of films. So for some reason, I thought that that scary film would be a really good one to watch tonight. So I shall be watching it later on, battling through the jet lag, and tomorrow morning I will let you know my thoughts on the film. But as always, there are just so, so many different things to catch up on on Sky Cinema. As always, there are loads of different pop-ups that you can look to for inspiration. This month there's one all about different directors. You can click on your favorite director, whether it's Spielberg or Christopher Nolan or Scorsese and look through all of their most iconic films so I can't wait to have a look through that there's also an anti-hero pop-up so let's have a look at the kind of films that are on there anti-heroes so we've got Suicide Squad of course Terminator the social network is that an anti-hero film I guess Batman so many amazing films as always there is always something to watch no matter where you are in the world just remember to if you are going to use scout sky go just remember to download the films before you leave because then you can watch them no matter your wi-fi situation um so yes that's my plan for this evening uh you can watch it along with me if you like i will leave the trailer to a knock at the door in the description box down below and you can also check out loads of other sky cinema favorites um, as I said, I've got Forrest Gump downloaded. I still need to watch A Man Called Otto. I saw so many people raving about that last month. Another Tom Hanks favorite, so can't wait to watch that. Oh, when is this aircon gonna kick in? My goodness. Okay, my darlings, dress is on. I'm wearing this fabulous Borgo Denor number, which I last wore for Charlie's brother's 
30th birthday, which was last October, so it's about time it had another outing. I've just brushed through the curls, popped some hairspray in, and they're now a solid, a solid matted curl. So without further ado, let's head over to the NARS documentary premiere. <laughs> Good morning, my darlings. It is our first and only full day in New York City today. I'm very um, pleasantly surprised how non-jet-lagged I felt last night. Actually managed to stay awake all evening. We had the most wonderful evening for the um, premiere, I guess you could say, of Francois Nars' new documentary film. And it was a really fascinating film, mostly based around Francois' inspirations um, behind creating the beauty brand. It didn't actually go into the physical creation of the brand. I'm now really intrigued about the story and I want to do a lot more research, um, but more his childhood inspirations, models, actresses, cinematography. I had no idea that he was such a passionate photographer, but yeah, film all around his love of beauty, which was really, really wonderful. It was kind of like a friends and family screening. Got to meet Francois himself, he's so lovely. And also bumped into Victoria and Alex at the event, and we both had watched Alana's recent vlog where she did a Tracy Anderson workout down in Tribeca. So as you might be able to guess by this morning's outfit, that is where I'm heading this morning. Vic's gonna meet me down there. It's very convenient because our first itinerary event um, for our little group is also down that area. We've got a big brunch as a group at Jack's Wife Frida, which is one of my favorite places. They do a fabulous, oh my gosh, I've just realized they do the most amazing French toast. Ah, so excited. I wanted to walk but it's drizzly and it will actually take me an hour to walk so sadly the time for me to leave has come and gone so I'm going to hop in an Uber, get down to Tribeca, do this 30 minute, quite quick, I normally like to do hour long classes, dance ski class. I'm intrigued, let's give it a go. Okay, made it to the Tracy Anderson workout studio. I'm so intrigued. I think it's a little boutique as well. Um, so, oh my gosh, I'm a little bit nervous. I think this is going to be quite crazy. Let's give it a go. So this is a little boutique that they've got just by the studio. They've got ocean bottles here. I thought this was just in the UK, but that's amazing. They've got little TA Tracy Anderson ocean bottles and some really cute little fitness outfits. Some nice autumnal colours. Okay, my darlings, time for a little catch up. I don't feel anywhere near as embarrassed vlogging on the street in New York as I do in London because no one here is ever going to recognise me. So, okay, that was. <laughs> That was the craziest workout experience of my entire life. Thank goodness that Victoria came along as well because I would have felt like such a royal dingbat to doing that um, by myself. So the studio was heated. Thank goodness they had showers afterwards. Heated studio. Um, and then this guy, this really cool guy who I just presumed was like another customer of the class, wearing a hoodie and like a black, all black outfit, including a hoodie in this heated room. He just suddenly started dancing in the mirror. And um, I was like, okay. And then other, the other ladies in the class started to do similar moves. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's the instructor. We're just meant to start following him. So Vic and I just making an absolute fool out of ourselves, copying these really cool like hip hop dance moves, half an hour, sweating our, little booties off. It was absolutely crazy, <laughs> but great fun. Great to get the endorphins going at the beginning of the day. And I feel like I'm still a little bit worn out. But anyway, Vic and I just had a nice coffee catch up and I'm heading over to Jack's wife, Frida, now. And we've got a Shiseido team brunch, which I'm very much looking forward to. So I shall see you when we get there. Again, my 
darlings. So we actually have five hours of free time now, which I did not realize. So I haven't really thought about what I'm gonna do today. All the girls have got different plans. Irene has got to do a little rehearsal because she's doing an interview with our superstar guest later. And Evie's going to find a manicure. We might catch up later and do some shopping together. But I'm down in Soho, just had the most delicious lunch, uh, brunch at Jack's Wife Frida. Rose water waffles were so good. And now I'm in the heart of one of the loveliest shopping districts in New York. So of course I'm gonna have a little look around. No surprises as to where I found myself first. This is actually the first time I've been in this store. So let's have a little look around, try some bits. I'm quite tempted by this very fluffy looking hoodie. It looks so cozy. successful morning of shopping so far it seems that I'm in the mood for new workout gear got some bits from Vuori and from Lulu now I'm gonna stop at this little spot called Matchaful farm to whisk I love the sound of this and I have been obsessed with matcha on this trip so let's give it a try okay I'm definitely gonna have to come and find another of these Matchaful places because there were so many things on the menu that I wanted to try out They've got their new uh, autumn or full seasonal menu with uh, lovely chai matcha lattes. There was like a pumpkin spice latte, but it's quite warm, as you might be able to tell from <laughs> outfit and glowing face. So this is an oishi berry summer iced oat matcha latte collaboration. And I remember my friend Rory talking about these oishi I hope I pronounced that right, oishi berries. Um, they're these super expensive strawberry-like berries that you can get from Japan, I believe. Vertically grown strawberries. Um, and yeah, they've mixed it with the matcha latte, so I'm gonna give this a try. But I know I'm definitely gonna be coming back to try out their chai matcha latte. Another point during our trip. Mm. Okay, that's amazing. <laughs> So I'm armed with my matcha and I've swapped my Hermes sandals for my barefoot trainers which were perfect for this morning's workout. It's about an hour's walk up Fifth Avenue. It's about an hour's walk, just under an hour, just straight up Fifth Avenue to get back to the hotel. Oh, this is not a particularly nice area to show you, but never mind. I think it'll get a little bit nicer after we cross the park. Okay, so I'm halfway down Fifth Avenue, back into shopping zone. I'm gonna pop into this CVS pharmacy. I always like to stock up on the Neosporin here because we can't get it in the UK and it's just amazing. If you are from the UK, it's kind of like a Savlon, but super strength. So if you get any like cracked uh, skin on your hands or any cuts, then it's the best. I'll show you. Okay, here we go. So this one stops any stings from itching and it also stops you from getting scars. And then I'm gonna get a couple of the originals as well. Exciting stuff. <laughs> I have somehow just managed to spend over a hundred dollars on Neosporin cream. Safe to say I am very much feeling the pinch on the awful pound to dollar exchange rate at the moment. Oh my goodness. Always have such lovely knitwear in Club Monaco. If there's one thing I don't need, it's more knitwear, but it definitely can't hurt to have a little look. Such a lovely store. Okay, a little Club Monaco try on. I found this cute little green and white striped 
sweater <laughs> as they call them here it's really nice with a little kind of bobbly detail on the knit it's making my eyes go a little bit funny <laughs> very cute do i need it no but it is rather adorable not sure about this one it's like a cashmere jumper dress but um, quite an unusual collar detail i like the fact that it's just this one bit of fabric but i feel like maybe it needs to be either a little bit longer or a little bit shorter I'm not too sure obviously would wear a bra with it <laughs> and probably some nice boots mm. with a nice pair of brown knee-high boots this could look rather fabulous but then is it going to be quite tricky to know what to wear with it do you wear a jacket but then it's quite challenging with this kind of sleeve not too sure and then we've got another knitted dress this time we've got strappy sleeves so i always wonder do you wear this on a cold day or a warm day because you've got nothing on your arms and yet the dress itself is knitted it's a really nice fabric but i'm just struggling to think of the use case hmm i feel like nothing here is quite 100 percent so i'm gonna leave it I think I have just gone to heaven. I've just come into Italy, which is a giant Italian food store. They've got so many cheeses. Oh my gosh, I could just demolish an entire pot of that. They've got a focaccia station over there, La Focacceria. Oh my goodness, I've seen people wandering around with little tubs of fresh salad, so I'm going to try and find where they got those from. Wow. Oh my gosh, there's so many different types of proper Italian food. Oh, this is heavenly. There's a pizza station, there's a panini station, fresh fish, fresh meat, a piazza, rare speciality cheeses, oh my goodness. I feel like there's one of these in London, but I've never been in. This place is actual heaven, so you can buy all of these different fresh pasta dishes. They've got these lasagnas, a giant portion. Oh my gosh, cacio e pepe. That is amazing. So look, you've got the fresh cacio e pepe sauce down there. Pesto. Oh my goodness. Oh, if I was staying in an apartment, I would definitely be bringing one of these home. Nokis. Olive oil with whipped lentil dal. Ooh. Oh my goodness me. Look at this. This is the motherland of fresh pasta. Wow. This is the most amazing thing I have ever seen. Look at all these different gnocchis. Mafaldine. That looks incredible. Oh, wow. If anyone knows if I can order this in the UK, oh my gosh, look at all these different pestos, tomato sauce, bolognese, spicy tomato, cacio e pepe, Sis oh my gosh, stop the press, Sicilian pistachio pesto. Ah! Can I get this in the UK? Please someone say yes, oh my goodness. Hello my darlings, I feel like every morsel of makeup has left my face because it is so humid outside. As you can see, I'm back in the hotel and I thought I would show you the bits that I just purchased uh, in town. And I realized I was meant to give you my film review first thing this morning, but I was in too much of a rush to get to my hot and very sweaty dance class. So, knock at the cabin. I was not expecting Ron Weasley to turn, to turn up. Um, yeah, Rupert Grint, one of the actors in the film. I was a little bit nervous that it was going to be a horror, but thank goodness I would say it was more of a thriller. So if you're not into scary stuff, but you do like to be on the edge of your seat with suspense, then this is a really good one. I would say it's kind of Shutter Island level of um, scariness, so not petrifying. Equally, I would not want to watch that by myself or even with Charlie in a remote cabin in the woods. So choose your timing wisely. As I mentioned yesterday, I do love an apocalyptical film um, and that's not giving anything away that it kind of goes down that route. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed watching it and it is out now on Sky Cinema. So I'll leave a link to the trailer and everything down below. There are so many amazing films on Sky Cin Cinema at the moment and I feel like as we move towards Halloween, but if you're not into scary films, then that is a really, really good option. So knock at the cabin, highly recommend. The plotline is 
quite a simple plot so there's not too many twists and tails um but there's enough suspense that you are gripped throughout the entire film so definitely check it out so from thrillers to thrilling workout outfits, I'm actually going to head to the hotel gym now because even though I did do the movement with the Tracy Anderson class this morning, I do feel like I want to do a little bit of a weight session. So I've got a few things here which I'm really excited to um, have purchased. Vuori is a brand which um, I am familiar with. I've got a really lovely workout set from them at home with a gorgeous square neckline. I just saw this green and I was like, that is, that's a Josie colour. Um, so I think I might, I think I might wear this tomorrow. We've got a little bit of like a wellness event. And then the leggings, I thought these would be perfect for me going to my yoga and Pilates in the autumn season dark green, a little bit thicker than you'd expect. They're kind of like a mix between a legging and a tracksuit bottom. Um, they've got the drawstring top, little pockets. I'm so sorry about the <laughs> sirens in the background, by the way. Um, yeah, I think these are gonna be a really nice fit. I didn't try anything on, but I will do later. Um, ah, right, I just read this more carefully. I thought that the leggings were made out of recycled paper. No, just the tag. <laughs> So these are the daily pocket legging, high rise fit, side pockets, big enough to fit your essentials, soft four way stretch fabric, moisture wicking seven eighth length. And I got the size small as opposed to the extra small in these because I thought they would be nicer not being like clinging to every morsel of buttock. Um, and then also from that store, Charlie always complains about or notes about how there are very few elevated men's fitness brands um, and I noticed a lot of really nice bits in there for men so I grabbed him this it's the kind of thing that I think he will get a lot of wear out of he likes this color um, and the fit looks really nice and if he likes it then maybe he will check out the brand a little bit more so a nice little t-shirt and I swear I also bought a sports bra from that oh here it is yeah just a little gray quite casual um, it's not really a sports bra it's more of a little like mini comfy bra I might even wear this on the plane on the way home because I feel like it's the kind of top that it would still be socially acceptable for you to take it off. Like, not take it off, take your t-shirt off to just wear this if you do get toasty. Um, where's my Lulu stuff? Oh, over there. Lulu! Lemon! Um, <laughs> very boring. CVS. I just bought a ton of different Neosporins, like all the different kinds, and I'm sure I remember someone telling me once that Aquaphor is a really good lip balm for dry lips, and mine have been really dry lately, so I picked up this like double pack of Aquaphor. I was going to get some Crest whitening strips, but they were behind like a security screen and I couldn't be bothered to call over anyone from customer service, so they lost a sale there. Mm. Oh. So Lululemon, uh, I picked up, first of all, a fork, right, that's my chicken salad that I just got from Italy. This is just a really simple pullover, no surprises, perfect for my getting myself to Pilates. I do have things that I can wear to get myself to Pilates, but I like the colour of this one and I like how simple it is, so that's fabulous. And then, again, no surprises, I just fell in love with the colour of these. Really simple little top. Maybe this is what I'll wear for the wellness event tomorrow. I think this is like meditation and other bits. So the matching leggings, very much Cotswold kind of Bamford green colour. And these are, are they a line? Wonder Train. Train hard, not hot. Controls and manages heat and sweat so you stay comfortable and focused. Lovely. So yeah, that's what I'm going to wear tomorrow for the event. Um, and then I think what I'll stick on now for just heading up to the gym. And also I've booked a reformer class for tomorrow morning. So these are the Align leggings but with a little V. Can you see this little V at the front there? Which I thought could be super flattering. Um, I really like the Align leggings. I find that they have got a really nice like finishing height which is lovely so there we go that's my little fitness haul from my impromptu New York shopping spree so we've got a very exciting event this evening 
which I'll tell you about when I'm getting ready later. But I've got an hour and a half until someone is actually coming to the room to do hair for me, but I have to have wet hair. So I thought I would sneak, um, I'm gonna pop one of these outfits on, I'm gonna sneak up to the rooftop of this hotel, it just so nosy and I wanna see what it looks like. I think the view's gonna be amazing. And then I'm gonna nip down to the gym, half hour blitz of a workout, um, and then let's get ready for our glamorous evening tonight. I should have just come straight in here to show you my gym outfit. I've got the entire gym to myself. Um, I went up to the rooftop, but they are already setting up there for our event later, so I'll just have to show you a little bit later on. Uh, I think I'm going to do... Do you know what? I've actually got on my phone the workouts that I normally do with Simon, our personal trainer. So, seeing as there is a good selection of weights here, I think I'm going to give one of those workouts a try. again my darlings looking very different to when I last saw you I have now popped on some makeup and spun the hair up into a kind of jazzy updo for tonight's special event and it is the big reveal the fabulous Hollywood A-lister who is going to be the new face of the Vital Perfection range from Shiseido I know who it is, but I'm gonna wait to show you in real life because it's very, very exciting. I'll give you some clues in case you haven't already seen. I was gonna say a film, but I think that'd be too obvious. Uh, she does not seem to age, <laughs> making her perfect for this moisturizer and collection. I will, I will tell you the film, Devil Wears Prada. That is a very big clue indeed. So I have popped on my fabulous Reese um, cape dress for this evening, feeling very glamorous. And the theme for tonight is a touch of gold. Not full gold, just a touch of gold. So my touches of gold, I've got my fabulous floral earrings, obviously my watch. I've taken off my necklaces because it was too much with the dress. I'm taking my little Chloe bracelet bag, which I love. And I have also got on my lovely Christmas gold Malolos, um, which, you can't see at the moment, but I'll get a full length snap a little bit later. So we are all meeting down in the reception of the hotel and heading up to the event, the big reveal, the meet and greet, and it's going to be a fabulous evening. I stupidly forgot to bring perfume with me, but luckily I did bring this little um, Jo Malone powder, which is meant to be a scented powder, and it's, oh, it's got a little bit of a shimmer. Do you know what, I can actually, smell that so I'm just gonna pop some of this on my shoulders I think the lighting in this lift area is a little bit better for showing you my makeup for the evening I have of course used my Shiseido Revital Essence I was about to say shampoo <laughs> foundation which just gives me such a gorgeous glow Narcissus on the lips glowing and pretty and pink <laughs> and white and gold So we made it up to the 38th floor for tonight's event to discover the new launch from the Vital Perfection range and look at this view, oh my goodness, the Hudson River, the sun is about to set over there, oh my gosh, you can see the helicopters just prancing around and over there, I don't know if you can see this, that is the Statue of Liberty and of course One World Trade Center down there, my goodness, and I don't know if you can see but that is somebody's private terrace. Wowzer, <laughs> what a view they have got. Absolutely. 
absolutely thrilled to welcome you to join the French Sailor Wedding Profession event. First ever global ambassador, Anne Hathaway, onto the stage. Aging is just another word for living. Wouldn't it be amazing if the best was yet to come? To the esteemed guests here, what if we all let ourselves believe that on this magical New York night, where we got to be nourished and a little bit spoiled by Shiseido, a company who at 151 years old is still unleashing its own potential? What if we followed their example and reinvested with care, thought, hope, and love in our own potential a little bit every day, starting with our skin. We've all heard that aging is a privilege. It is. The longer you live, the more that becomes clear. So, with privilege comes responsibility. The responsibility to live in ways that nourish you and make you happy, to be generous, with yourself and with others, to engage with your life, it, to engage in your life with hope and humor. I can't give any advice more specific than that. I really, I feel like it's up to everyone how they live their lives, and I have observed that if you love and nourish your skin the way I hope you love and nourish your mind, your heart, your health, your people, your love, yourself, there is an excellent chance you will unleash your radiance and your own potential. A great face cream is clutch, however, the appreciation, care, and consistency with which you apply it will make it work that much better. Anyway, I've spoken long enough. Thank you for having me. And to my new family at Shiseido, a Japanese company called Global in the most radiant way. Thank you. I got to go so much. To the hotel room we are heading out for dinner shortly but oh my goodness what a fabulous party that sunset was just something else so as you'll have just seen the big reveal Anne Hathaway is the new global ambassador for the vital perfection range and oh my goodness she, she is perfection personified so composed so well put together you can tell she just oozes confidence and self-control <laughs> she just seems so lovely and honestly her skin is incredible she was speaking really beautifully about how aging is such a wonderful privilege she just seemed very passionate about the skincare range that she is now the face of so we have also discovered a new launch from Shiseido this evening which is the vital perfection lift define radiance night concentrate i had a little hand massage they popped some on the back of my hand and it felt absolutely glorious and it's all about creating a very uplifted and contoured expression contoured complexion with a huge focus on the jawline they've done as always so much research there's so much incredible technology in here lift dynamic 4d technology to lift sculpt and redefine so i will be putting this to the test cannot wait to give this a try so now we are heading out for dinner i think i'm gonna untwizzle my hair and pop on a slightly more subtle dress and then we're gonna find somewhere delicious to sell to spend our final evening location cosme i believe it is mexican <laughs> from the reflection of the sun off the giant skyscraper opposite me. 
I've had a really lovely start to the day. So it's our, it's our final day in New York today. We actually fly home tonight. Um, I woke up at 6 a.m. with jet lag, so thought I would just seize the day and make the most of every minute. I went down to the Body Rock studio in Chelsea, which is a Reforma Pilates studio. Um, did a 45 minute class there and it was really, really good. At first I was like, oh, this is too easy. This is not, not gonna be enough of a workout for me. But then it really picked up and oh my goodness, my bottom <laughs> and thighs right now are already really aching. Um, so yeah, that was a great start today. A little bit more fast paced and like music-y than my very chilled um, but hard work Bamford classes. Then I, oh, <laughs> then I grabbed a chai matcha from Cheshire Matcha, which has become a real little favorite of mine. It's almost opposite our hotel, so that's perfect. And then I decided I would walk down to Central Park. However, I got three quarters of the way there and realized I wasn't gonna have time to go all the way there. I would literally have to turn around and then walk back to the hotel because we've got a wellness morning this morning with Shiseido um, to discover more about my favorite foundation, which is the Revital Essence. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel now. I've been walking for an hour, so it's still been a really nice start today. As you might be able to guess, it's very toasty already. Um, and we are heading up to Summit One today after the Shiseido Masterclass. So it's gonna be a really nice day. We're gonna pack in as much as possible, grab a late lunch before flying home. Um, but yeah. It's been such a nice morning. I feel like in New York, I was sat earlier just on the steps of the public library where Carrie and Big didn't get married. Um, and I feel like in New York, you don't even need to do things. Just being in certain places just feels really cool. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's just me. But there we go. So I stopped off at the, is it Byrant? Bryant? Byrant Park? And it's really, really beautiful here. But now I need to get back on my way to the hotel, pack up, and then start today's activities. here at this lovely place called The Well and it's kind of like a wellness a wellness place based here in New York and we have just had a lovely sound bath meditation here in this room. Next we're going to go and be shade matched for our perfect shade of the Revitalescence foundation. This is what we are here for, my favourite, the Revitalescence Skin Glow foundation. We just had a little talk from uh, one of the ladies that actually created the formula for this and she was telling us all about how it's really skincare first and makeup second with all the wonderful ingredients and niacinamide, the Japanese rice fermented kefir giving us that gorgeous radiant glow. So. so we have got time to sneak in a nice lunch before we go to Summit One. I saw this place on Google Maps, thought it looked quite nice, Rosemary's. They've got an organic kitchen on the rooftop, which sounds rather fabulous. Let's hope they can squeeze us in. There was something about this restaurant on Google Maps that I just had a gut instinct that we would like it, and I can't believe it, but it has got an organic rooftop garden so we're at a place called Rosemary's and yeah there was a little sign saying rooftop garden so of course I had to come and investigate it is such a gorgeous day it's probably about 26 degrees I'm a little bit toasty in my long sleeve dress but half a look at this I feel like obviously New York property is so expensive if you have any outdoor space then you are super lucky but just imagine being able to grow your own fresh tomatoes they've got some amazing aubergine plants Let's see what else they've got. Lots of beans. So many tomatoes. Oh, and the menu looks absolutely incredible. So I'm very excited for our final lunch in New York. Here we go. So look at this. There are some very large aubergines ready to be harvested on here. You wouldn't think it'd be warm enough all year round, but obviously it is. Um, so many tomatoes and different chilies. Goodness me, lots of little plum tomatoes growing in here. Beautiful. More aubergines, my gosh, they are 
clearly very happy in the sunlight up here. And there's even a little beekeeper's, a little bee's house over there. I've forgotten the name for it. Bee, bee hut, <laughs> beehive, beehive. Absolutely gorgeous. We are 91 floors up. It's so bright up here. We had to queue a little bit. We're pushing it a tiny bit timing-wise for our flight. It's kind of like an artist installation, obviously 90 floors up above Manhattan. So let me show you around. not just a vista, this is actually an art installation, 91 floors up. The view is one thing, but there's so many amazing bits of art inside as well. The whole experience is just absolutely crazy, and it's about the same price as the other views, so really worth doing. all over Instagram. Sadly not quite possible to get a perfect photo when it's so busy but these are actually filled with I think helium so they float around. Such a James living her best life. <laughs> So my top tip when you're coming here would definitely be to bring sunglasses. It is absolutely dazzling. The light is just bouncing off all of the mirrored surfaces. It's a kind of like one-way system. So we have been to the downstairs area. Now we're on the second floor, which is called Transcendence. And it's kind of trippy because you're not sure if you're looking at real people or if you're looking at reflections. It's very, very cool. Look at that view behind me. Oh my goodness. I think the top of the rock, you don't actually get to see the top of the Chrysler building. So this is quite an exceptional view. It's so funny looking down on such insane buildings. Oh my goodness. Central Park. Oh my goodness. Over there in the distance. There is so much building still up there. I wonder if it's an apartment. Oh my goodness me. 